And this is not clean water by any means. All right, it's nasty. It's just stagnant sitting here. We'll fluff it up. Get some of the silt and all the crap going. Let's taste it. No. No. What's up, Internet? Kern 1776 here once again. <laughs> got another water filter test for you. This is a two-pack. So we've got the Water Drop Plus, which is used for fresh and brackish water, and also the Seal, which will do fresh water, but also do salt water, which I already did a video on the Seal. So we're gonna test out the uh, fresh water, brackish water. We're not going to do it the way you're supposed to. We gotta level it up a little bit, right? Well, we're gonna throw this in the mud hole. So here we are at the mud hole, and this clearly isn't the optimal place to get water for you to ingest. You know, you definitely should boil it and all that sort of stuff, right? But I mean, you could do it. In a survival situation, you do what you gotta do, but you need to take proper measures to, you know, purify and clean the water. So here's the packaging here. The way this works is there's a pouch in here. So this pouch you place in the water. Now this isn't a fast process. This, this is gonna take some time. So this type of water filter is best used when you're gonna stick around in the area for a while. For instance, let's say you're lost. You came across this water source and you had this and the best practice at the time would be to stay put until somebody finds you. So you can throw this in this mud hole here and sit it out. And after a few hours, you'll have some water to drink because you need water to survive, especially clean water to survive. And what it does is the membrane or the out, outside of this pouch here, as you can see, it's kind of getting on my hands. So there's very, very, very tiny perforated holes in here. So the water is going to permeate this pack. This pack's going to swell up like a Capri Sun pack and it uses reverse osmosis to filter the water. You got a straw in here like a Capri Sun and you puncture it, drink from it. So step one is tossing this thing in the water. So this could take up to six hours course you want to put it where you can get to it again so we're just going to set it right here in this water and this is not clean water by any means All right. it's nasty it's just stagnant sitting here we'll fluff it up get some of the silt and all the crap going we're gonna let that sit right there it is currently about 1.30, a little past 1.30, almost 1.35. And I've only got one of those orange filters. The other one in here is great. It's for salt water or brackish water. If you don't know what brackish water is, look it up, Google's your friend. But it's, you know, it's got some salt content, typically where you see you know, rivers going into salt water, kind of where the mixing and all is happening, the salt, the fresh meeting up, that's considered brackish water. So, got that in the mud hole over there. And uh, we'll come back to it in a few hours, see what it's doing, take us a drink. Obviously, the proper way to get water, water, water out you know, in the wild is to find as clean, clear, moving water as possible, if possible. That's gonna cut down on the amount of silt, sediment, you know, bacteria, viruses, and things like that, just by it being moving, visually clear, and all that. All righty, so let's go back to the mud hole and check on this water drop pouch. So it is, Five minutes to five, so it's been what? What was it, 1.30? Three and a half hours. There it is. I'll show you to watch. Almost five, five minutes to five. 
But as you can see, it's now got water in there. How about that? There's a straw. I'm gonna use my knife because I don't wanna sitting here stabbing at it like crazy, shooting it all over the place. Obviously, you can poke it with the with the straw if you don't have a knife, but you should have a knife on you. Anyway, let's taste it. Prove that I put some in my mouth. Wow. Tastes like a uh, orange. Kind of like an orange Gatorade. <laughs> no, it tastes like an orange uh, little freeze pops that you cut the top off and you cut the sides of your mouth with as a kid. <laughs> That's what it tastes like. Does not taste like this was in a mud hole at all. It obviously purifies the water as well as filters the water. It's got electrolytes in it. Um, obviously some flavoring in there. So it freaking works, man. It says best to consume drink within 24 hours of opening pouch. Pouch cannot be reused. Makes sense. Do not use in industrial waste waters. Obviously it wouldn't be a good place to get water. Keep your hands and straws clean to help avoid contamination. Warmer water will result in faster fill times. Each pouch contains 2.7 fluid ounces or 80 milliliters in fresh water. The salt water one will do 0.25 liters in salt water and about 0.45 in fresh water. 230 milligrams of sodium, 50 grams of carbs, and 16 grams of total sugars, no protein. A great thing to have, especially the salt water one, because really filtering salt water, purifying salt water is a pain in the butt process. I already did a video on this. We'll link that down in the description box below so you can watch the salt water video and how we tested that to prove that it actually got rid of the salt. Um, and this is same thing. You put it in the water and you let it you know, sit for a few hours. It fills up and you drink from it. So a really cool way to filter and purify fresh and brackish water or salt water and fresh water with the seal plus so this is the water drop the grape is the seal plus another success filtering water out of my mud hole yeah so as always i appreciate you guys watching be sure to like comment subscribe share it with your friends all that fun stuff hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when i shoot out more vidges we'll see you on the next video yeah Awesome. Salsum sauce. Frickin' salsum sauce.